Hi hey everybody, thanks for joining me as we take a look at the severe weather threat for September 15th, Wednesday, September 15th. Um, we do have a pretty good shot at some severe thunderstorms this afternoon into this evening. Uh, mostly this afternoon though, here across southern Vermont. Um, probably uh, in terms of a setup, this is probably one of the more uh, two or three best setups for severe weather that we've had all summer. So. Um, uh, definitely a chance of uh, some particularly gusty winds, I think, is going to be the potential, real potential here. Uh, there will be briefly heavy rain. There will be lots of lightning. Um, uh, but it's really the winds that are going to cause the problems. There's a good chance of a bunch of trees being taken down um, in some spots and uh, some power outages as a result of that. Um, small chance of hail, very small chance of a tornado as well. But um, I, I think basically it's, it's a straight line wind issue here across southern Vermont. So uh, we can see that we've already got uh, the remnants of uh, the severe weather outbreak that happened kind of over the Great Lakes yesterday. This front means business. Um, and you can see the dew points here. Um, we've had the, uh, the warm front start to move through uh, where the warm front hasn't moved through yet in New Hampshire. Uh, and where we were yesterday, dew points were in the upper 50s, starting to feel a little humid, but um, we're in the low to mid to even some upper 60s here, uh, just to our west as we get into the warm sector. That's the, the, the area between uh, the warm front and the cold front. We call that the warm sector. That's where, as the cold front approaches, that's where the thunderstorms happen. Uh, the real question here is how much sun I think we're going to get before um, we start to get into the storms. The storms from last night are dying. Their energy uh, has uh, obviously dissipated over the night and they kind of uh, wind down as they go um, and so that'll they'll continue to kind of die to our west and then they'll redevelop as we get some heating of the day um, and I would say the more that we get uh, the more sun we get the more chance we have of uh, the storms being stronger as that just pumps energy into the lower atmosphere which then of course helps uh, fuel those thunderstorms as they develop uh, oops uh, and so in terms of the upper level uh, jet stream showing here we got a real strong uh, area of jet stream here, uh, jet streak we would call that, and um, we are in the area to the east to the kind of the entrance and the what we call the right front entrance area to that, which enhances lift. Um, and you can see it also represents where they're at the upper levels of the atmosphere is a pretty good piece of energy, and that's swinging in our direction. Um, and so that's the upper level support that we need for the storm to happen. So we've got the lower level support with the dew points and potentially some sun and some warm temperatures. Um, if we get a bunch of sun today, we'll be up in the low 80s. Um, and then we've got the upper level support um, in terms of a lot of uh, energy and uh, uh, high level uh, jet stream winds uh, to our west. That's, the, that's what you need setup wise for severe weather um, really anywhere, but particularly here across the northeast and pretty strong cold front coming in with that. Um, so, oops, sorry, in terms of uh, satellite, you can see here's what happened. We had those severe storms. You can see how they're dissipating um, as we go through the overnight and head into the morning. These will refire this afternoon. They're going to refire over us. So that's uh, um, just to kind of show you these have cycled through. This is a well-developed front. It's already produced severe weather in the past, um, and so that potential exists. Here's uh, the, the what's left of our of our hurricane down here across the southern United States. That also is just kind of continuously building um, moisture in our direction. Um, although that's going to stay, all the moisture from that will stay far to our south here across southern England as we go. So, sorry, uh, impact for these thunderstorms. Wind, there's an enhanced wind uh, chance. So um, I would say this is, uh, there's definitely chances for significant wind and um, some significant like tree down and limb type damage um, that will obviously cause some power issues. Slight hail, there is a slight chance of some hail. I wouldn't be surprised to hear of some pea to dime sized hail. Um, pea to dime sized hail is not really a big deal. It looks impressive, but it's not that big a deal. You got it's quarter size, which is not impossible, and you start to have issues with damage to cars and things like that. I don't think that'll be a problem, but just as an FYI. And then rainfall, it's going to rain heavy, but the threat from it is pretty low. We could get three quarters to an inch of rain. I'll show you that on the next slide. Um, but that's not really going to be enough to cause anything, except for that it could be hard to drive if you're driving during one of these storms where it could rain very, very heavy for a brief amount of time. Also, be lots of lightning with these storms. Uh, so, timing. Um, we could have a storm as early as 11 a.m. today, um, as we see that dying front, although I think most of the activity waits a little bit longer than that. But anytime between 11 and 8 p.m., um, we could have a storm. But the strongest storms look to roll through in the 2 to 4 p.m. range. Um, so that's where if we're going to have severe weather, it's probably going to happen between 2 and 4 p.m. They're going to roll in from west to east. So earlier timing would be north and west, like the Rutland area. Um, at 4 p.m. would be more like the Bennington 
uh, or excuse me, the Brattleboro, uh, Putney kind of area for those stronger storms. Wind damage likely 60 mile an hour gusts. Definitely not, uh, not that. I think there'll be a bunch of places that have uh, 60 mile an hour gusts. Um, there's enough energy to even give us some 70 or 80 mile an hour gusts. Like I said, uh, just in brief spot areas where you get kind of a downburst. Um, that is possible um, with a little bit of a Boeing echo, and those will take out uh, trees and things like that. So um, if you get, if you hear uh, thunder coming, uh, uh, make sure you find kind of just a sturdy place to be inside. If you're in your house, you're fine, um, except you might lose power. But uh, just make sure you're not like outside in the trees and things like that when you hear about that wind coming. Small hail possible, heavy rain, three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half of rain, I think for most of us, um, could be a cut spot two inch amount in some of those really uh, heavier uh, cells. If you get the real heavy rain for 20, 30 minutes, you might get an inch in that 30 minutes. So anyways, that's what the outlook um, for the day. Uh, so if you um, if you're in the afternoon, if you're out in the afternoon, you just want to make sure that you're um, seeking shelter. If you do hear uh, thunder start to come, and because the storms could be pretty significant, and um, just be prepared to lose power. I don't think this is going to be the kind of power outage where you're going to lose power for days. Um, Twelve to probably 24 hours at most would be um, the kind of power outages you're going to get. They're not. There could be lots of them, but they're not going to be incredibly widespread. So um, the power companies will get out and get them fixed uh, relatively quickly. So you should be prepared to lose power for 12 to. 24 hours and uh, just be prepared to seek shelter um, if you hear uh, thunder because again it could be accompanied by some pretty gusty winds. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you have any questions you can certainly ask them on Facebook or you can ask them, you can email me um, uh, and things like that or any other social media method to get hold of me. Um, and uh, thanks for um, supporting what I do here. Um, if you want to support the channel more you can subscribe to my YouTube channel that helps uh, new people discover what is what I do here um, and certainly give me a like on Facebook. Also um, if you have, uh, if you're so inclined, um, I do have patrons who help support financially. Uh, what I do here at the West River, other guy helps uh, provide for the graphics and things like that. And so um, there's a link below in the description that describes what it means to become a patron and how you can help out that way uh, as well if you're interested. So thanks for doing that, and I will be back again on Friday with a look at your weekend forecast.